All right, welcome guys. Today's video, I came over here to see another first class temple. I know I made a video a couple weeks ago of a first class temple here in Bangkok, but there's 10 of them and I wanna eventually do a video of all 10 of them and I'll put them into a, like a whole video of kind of my rank of the top 10. So the, the scale of uh, temples in Thailand goes from the special grade, which is Wat Prakau, it's the only one. And then it has the first class and there's 10 of them in Bangkok and I think 31 in the whole country. And then it goes down to second class and third class and then any other that's not really a, like a special temple. And there's 35 to 40,000 temples or something like that in Thailand. It is a Buddhist country after all and you know, 95% of the people are Buddhist and there's roughly 63 or so million people in Thailand. So there's a lot of people, a lot of demand. So anyway, this temple here itself, the reason I came over here is because this is a really special temple to the Thais. And the reason why is it has a really strong uh, connection with the current dynasty of the kings. So this temple was built in 1824 and uh, under, the, under the reign of King Rama III. And since it was built, they uh, have had several monarchs that uh, several of the kings that have actually been uh, monks here at this temple. Rama VI was a monk here. Rama VII was for quite a while before uh, he became king. And then he's the one that eventually resigned. And then uh, Rama IX, who was a really popular leader, he was uh, the longest reigning monarch of Thailand. He was like king for 70 years. And when he was a young guy, he was a monk at this temple. And then the current king, Rama X, he was also a monk here. And I think he served as a monk here for like 15 days, something like that. It wasn't a really long period. But anyway, the, uh, the principal Buddha image in here is famous. It was brought in from Pisanaluk and uh, it has quite a bit of stuff. So I've actually never been to this temple. I've been meaning to come, but I just have never got here. And it's not hard to get here. I don't know why I've never came here, but it's just a stone throw away from Kosan Road. And I've been by it. I just have never stopped and seen it. But anyway, I'm kind of excited to check it out. So let's see what we see. Let me show you. come in you're greeted with these nice painted up gold gates with the uh, inlay and uh, then they have some uh, like a little shrine over there and then the main ordination hall is right here and this is what we'll check out the first they do your temperature check and they spray some chemical on you right now to get in here all right so here you have the marker stones which is pretty common you see these quite often at most of the temples and this will uh, mark out the influence of the abbot or the, uh, the main monk of this temple. And you can see the exterior of this building has the marble and then uh, the painted gold ceiling. This is quite nice. All right, so here looks like the, the head monk. So the Buddha image in here is bronze and you can see it and it was one that was brought from Peace on the Luke. And that was in the 1820s or so. All right, so some people are here praying, so I won't say too much. This is quite nice here. I haven't seen one set up quite like this. So they have the Buddha in front of the Buddha. I think that is one of the things that uh, is unique about this temple. And it's kind of hard to focus. You can't really see because that front Buddha kind of draws the, like your uh, focus. And then you have the big Buddha right behind it. So the Buddha is in the subduing Mara posture. And it is quite, it's a beautiful Buddha. It's really a nice thing. And then you can see the rest of this hall. This is quite a nice building. And like I said, this will definitely be, uh, everything will be fixed up and will be in, you know, the best possible condition. Cause this is kind of a reflection on the royal family itself. Yeah, this is definitely nice. Yeah, this is a really nice temple. You can see how they have the sandstone 
little corner, which is kind of different. I haven't seen that before. And then all the uh, little inlay around all the windows. And we'll go over there and we'll see inside that building here in a sec. And then they have a Buddha out here. And this is kind of cool because it throws back like the tops is kind of the Khmer style with the Mount Maru and then the four hills kind of around it. And then you can see the uh, the perimeter wall. And they have the, the gates and stuff. Oh, and then they have some more over there. This will be really nice. Yeah, and the marble that they put on the outside of these buildings is fantastic. I don't know if there's anything I can see here. This might be locked up. Yeah, you can't get up in there. It's all kind of blocked off. And I don't know how well you can see here, but they have kind of a, like a Buddha and they have it underneath like some chicken wire, to keep the birds off of it. And it's all in a, like a little chicken wire cage. All right, so let's walk around some more. Okay, so they have some more of these Buddha images and stuff back here, but it's all locked up so you can't come and look around. And they have the wire mesh to keep the pigeons off. And then they're remodeling part of the temple, one of the ordination halls back here. And then they have a Chinese style shrine. And then right here is the gold, Stupa. and it's the bell shape which is really nice with the Sri Lankan influence but this is locked up also so they have pretty much everything back here locked off except for the principal Buddha I'm not sure why I uh, haven't heard anything about why it's all closed off I mean they do have some strict thing to come in for uh, the current situation with temperature checks and all of that it's kind of disappointing. I'd like to get up there and walk around. And they have some big, uh, some big figures made out of uh, stone. You can't hardly see it. And you can see maybe a little bit of this pink one here. And then a Chinese style shrine. And then back here goes into like the monk quarters and stuff. And then that looks like the bell house. Yeah. Let's see, maybe there's a gate up here. Nope, they're locked also. <clears throat> yeah, you can at least see the stupa from here, which is quite nice. Yeah, it's really, really beautiful. All right, so let's go back and see what else is in here. Here's the building that they're remodeling. They got the scaffolding and everything built up. So they're redoing the roof. And I don't know if they'll do any of the front of the building. It looks like it's in pretty good shape as it is. Okay, so you can see here, I believe this is another temple right next to this one. There's a little canal here, and then you can see the outer wall with the archways. And then, uh, some of the monk quarters and then you can see a nice view of the chetty yeah unfortunately most everything is locked up so this is a footsteps of prince patriarch vetranamos and so the buddha image in here was placed in 1930. this is pretty cool so they have, uh, looks like a Buddha footprint. Not sure what it is exactly, but it looks like it. And then they have uh, some of the Buddha shrines, the Buddha statues back behind. And then over here, some guys uh, remodeling some of the furniture. And then some more of the temple courtyard. And another one of these little sitting Buddha in one of these little chetties here. These are definitely a different style than I've seen before. And here we have a little shrine. It's right next to the front entrance. It has kind of a Chinese style Buddha. And then behind the Buddha, it has the double Buddha. 
that you see in the main hall, and then right in front of it is Rama Nine when he was a novice monk at this temple. So that's pretty interesting. They have it blocked off so you can't get in this part, but you could go in over there. But the buildings are kind of different looking. They uh, have kind of a colonial style to it. But we came here mainly to see the principal Buddha of this. Uh, All right, guys. So that finishes up our tour of this first class temple. It's really nice. I'm uh, disappointed that the Chetty and some of the other buildings are locked up. So maybe I'll come back another day, maybe on a like a Saturday or Sunday or something like that. Or maybe when we get closer to having the remodel of that other building finished. But other than that, this is a fantastic temple. That The main Buddha image is just spectacular. It's one of the nicest you'll see. Just the, the whole styling of it with the, the one in front of the back just really is a nice look for that. It's different than what you normally see at the temples. So definitely uh, something to check out. I enjoyed it. So hopefully you did also. If you did, make sure you click like and uh, subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed and share it with your friends. And if you want to know something, leave me a comment down below. Or if you've been here, tell me about it also in a comment. Or if you want me to do something different, tell me and I'll, you know, go try to make a video of it. Say, hey, I want to see this or see that. And uh, a, lot of, a lot of people do that. So it gives me a new idea, something to do, and maybe something that y'all are interested in. So as always, guys, remember, life is a journey. So until next time, enjoy.